Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Stephen Nicaela, and I just want to thank the Orange County LP for inviting me up here today. I uh, come up from uh, Key West, the beautiful Conquer Republic. Uh, today is Conquer Republic Independence Day, where back in 1982, we seceded from the United States to here, here. an illegal. <laughs> fighting a legal traffic stop just north of the stretch. Um, we were able to remove the, the traffic block, and uh, uh, which is a great libertarian thing. And, um, and yeah, so pretty cool. Um, so I'm running for the chairman of the Libertarian Party of Florida. A little bit about me. I've been a member of the Libertarian Party of Florida for five years. I'm also a member of the Libertarian National Committee. I've been a member of the LNC for three years now. I'm serving my second term as representative for Florida, Georgia, and Tennessee. I was a Region 14 representative, uh, representing Miami-Dade and Monroe County since 2014. I'm also a founding member of the Libertarian Party of Florida. Uh, I served a brief stint as the director at large uh, until I decided to switch over to treasurer to help safeguard the party's assets, um, which we have successfully done. We were able to go up to the FEC meeting in Tallahassee, me, myself, David Salisbury, and Omar, and, uh, and we successfully win that case. Uh, a lot has changed with the Treasury, a lot has changed with how we safeguard the party's assets, so I'm very grateful for that, and to be a part of the party, and I'm thrilled to be part of this movement, to be here with you all with, with so much passion, uh, in your hearts and bellies, and, and to help move this, this party forward. Uh, professionally, an entrepreneur by trade, I, uh, I serve my family's uh, one-use franchise and the district manager, we have eight stores across two states. Um, I'm also a franchisee for Dairy Queen. I oversee directly about 100 people in day-to-day -day operations, and uh, I directly control about $10 million in annual assets. So I have the experience uh, organizationally, executively, um, in large organizations um, to get the job done and make things happen. There are a couple of opportunities I see with the Libertarian Party of Florida. Number one is the institutionalization of knowledge. Uh, for too many years, we've had people come and go. Good people come, they do their job, they retire, they move out of the state, whatever it is, and the knowledge moves on uh, with them. Uh, one thing I desperately want to see within the LPF is a learning management system to catalog this knowledge, to grow this knowledge, to have an onboarding system for candidates, for uh, campaign staff, treasurers, um, for internal party offices like treasurer and secretary and regional representative. I've met several people, rep uh, region representatives, who have uh, who are new to the position that have no idea what their job is, what they're supposed to be doing, what their goals are. And it's something that professional organization uh, shouldn't have to deal with. So it's something that I've, I've actually been working on. There's a company called Cornerstone I've been talking with, as well as a few others, to see what opportunities we have uh, to, to import this kind of system into, into the LPF. Uh, another opportunity we have in the party is our culture. Um, a part of any successful culture is to um, obviously bring our members together. We, we face factionalization, which happens in parties that become dysfunctional culturally. A lot of that comes from the top down, and a lot of that be comes because we lack that centrifugal force of libertarianism within the state of Florida. We need to be so centric on our goals, have clearly defined goals uh, that we put our, our, not only our committees and our affiliates, set them out to accomplish certain things, but also hold them accountable. Uh, one thing I do in my organizations is I set clearly defined goals, I hold my people accountable, and there's gotta be problems. We're, we're human beings, we work together, there's gonna be conflicts in personality, there's gonna be conflicts in when people work together, and those need to be resolved appropriately. Uh, the LPF for many years, and the Libertarian Party in general, has often had these conflicts. When you set clearly defined goals, when you become a candidate-centric and an affiliate-centric organization, um, people tend to work towards those goals more confidently, uh, and this one thing I really want to work on is the culture of the organization. Another, <laughs> another thing I really want the LPF to be more single-mindedly uh, working towards is our candidate centricism. We have so many people coming into the party that are ambitious and like a nuclear bomb, you know, all that energy just kind of explodes and it doesn't really get anywhere. I want us to take that energy like a power plant and put it towards something productive. I want our people to be empowered. I want our affiliates to be empowered. I want to give them the tools and the support that they need to be successful. And uh, I want us to, to really focus on our mission, which is getting libertarians elected. How do we do that? Well, you know, number one, I think Operation First Step was a success. Uh, in 2018, the Libertarian Party of Florida 
out of, I think, 40 or so candidates that were elected during the midterms, the LPF accounted for more than half. We're doing something right. We're doing something successful. We need to build on that. We need to build an ecosystem of candidates that can move up from their first step positions into higher level offices with campaign staff, with treasurers, and uh, with support networks that will help them move on to the next positions. We need to find our people that are rock stars. We need to put our aces in their places. We need to develop our people to move up to higher level positions um, and get them elected. And that's, that should be our main goal. 